A big congratulations to the College of Education on their 100th anniversary. You have done so much for the state of Wyoming and for our children. We are so grateful. One hundred years of the College of Education. Looking back, moving forward. The story of the College of Education predates the formation of the college in 1914, and statehood for that matter. We had territorial schools, and we had a territorial superintendents. As the population grew, 1870s, 1880s, the communities grew, uh, then the need for uh, schools evolved, and then the need for teachers for those schools evolved, and uh, the university did what it could to help prepare those teachers. The first official teacher training started in 1891 out of the old main building. Here was an institution that had some very strong women, had some very strong role models for women. There was a, a strong sense that uh, uh, women seemed to be more capable than men, especially at the younger grades. And then when you think about it, bringing unmarried women into a community as a school teacher, there was probably mixed motives. It's not at all uncommon that an unmarried woman in a year's time would have found someone and begun a family. And it brings up a whole other interesting uh, part of Wyoming culture. By 1909, the teacher preparation program had grown so much, the state legislature appropriated funds to build a normal building, which comfortably housed the 50 pre-service teachers then studying at either the training grade school or the training high school. Training school is where somebody came in and they often observed first, then they tried stuff and you had a group of people and you had real students, real children. We knew a lot then about teaching within and for a democracy. We knew a lot about how we might sort of work with children on uh, tapping into their own interests and their own past experience uh, to help them be successful learners. By 1914, we were applying the science to teaching, we were applying the arts to teaching, and they were being informed by what we understood about professional teachers that were most successful in helping students learn. The new College of Education had two faculty members and two principals, one each for the normal and the secondary program. Formerly principal of the normal school, J.O. Krieger became the college's first dean. Miss Ruth Adsit supervised the primary training school. There was an increased demand for secondary education teachers, which was a four-year university degree. In 1914, the Department of Secondary Education was created. Future high school teachers could now receive an A.B. degree in education. A rural school was brought to campus in late 19, 17, 16, 17. One of the curriculums was helping to support rural school education. The most successful form of in-service teacher education was the summer school program, which ran for nearly a century. Many, many teachers would come here to strengthen their backgrounds in science and math and their pedagogical skills. There were times there would be over a thousand the new College of Education would sort of oversee a lot of that. By 1923, 100 pre-service teachers were enrolled in the senior high and laboratory schools, jointly known as the preparatory school. The first graduate program began in 1931. We were helping to prepare school administrators. The first graduate programs would sort of focus more on school administration. The decades flew by and the college expanded to include the departments of educational administration, adult education, and counselor education. In 1951, it moved into its current location. As the College of Education progressed through the 21st century, so did its approach to serving the state and the nation. Today, the college sends teachers, 
counselors, administrators, academics, and instructional technology specialists around the country. In the spring of 2014, the college opened its new Literacy Research Center and Clinic. Expanding literacy programs across Wyoming is one of its key missions. From its earliest days, the College of Education has powerfully served our citizens and shaped our communities. This legacy is primed to continue as the college enters its next hundred years.